viewers. I have my mic on so to help the wind noise isn't too much. I, uh, I heard about this, uh, this spectacular shipwreck a few days ago but it actually happened last month. It's a car carrier that was leaving full of cars from Brunswick and in the night no, it was in Brunswick, Georgia, and leaving in the night, and that's where it ended up. It made a sharp turn and had a little trouble. And there was a little fire. Most of the people, they, they got off right away, uh, but I think four people were trapped inside for the night because it was getting too, too rough for them to, uh, to rescue us to, to try to access the boat. So the next day, they went around tapping and heard some tapping back and cut a hole in the bottom and got them out so everybody was saved i think there were 2400 cars in there i suspect that they're complete a complete loss and the ship is a complete loss they were thinking of hello this is a short scope too hi clint they were thinking of trying to tilt the ship back up but it was decided that's not something they can do so good they're going to Spend who knows how long to, to cut it up and, and take away the parts. So you can look all this up on the internet and uh, and see better pictures. But here you are seeing the pictures live. I have to turn my head and look forward. Make sure I'm going on the right course. Yep, I'm on the right course. Only for a few minutes. Uh, no car parts. They had 2,400 brand new cars being sent up to, I think, Philadelphia. And they started in, in Brunswick. Brunswick is a major, major shipping port for cars on the East Coast. So the fact that they they were sending 2,400 away meant they came in from some place. Uh, so you can, you can make a guess that they're foreign cars. They probably didn't come from Alabama. And so they came in from overseas and were being distributed up to Philadelphia or somewhere in that, or Baltimore, somewhere in that direction. It's the first time in my life I've ever seen a, the bottom of a ship. I can maybe zoom a little more. No, I'm maxed out on the zoom. I, uh, I realized at the last second I should scope this. I was a little bit closer earlier. Um, but this is a pretty good sun angle. And you can look it up on the internet. Let me check my course while I'm scoping. I don't want to have my own shipwreck. So this is a short scope. I'm going to quit in just a second. That's the only thing there is to see. And it's because it's, I'm zoomed so much. It's a, a jiggly signal, jiggly image. I hope the, uh, I hope the video is at least half decent. You can look up the details and see some... Uh, boy, that wind is it's howling. I'm going to get out of the wind too. So you look up the details on the internet, just uh, Google Shipwreck Brunswick, Georgia, and that probably will, will give you some results. So uh, it's going to be a long process to cut up that ship and haul it away. So everyone, thanks for watching. I'm going to scope out. I have to, uh, to get ready to go into a, a narrow place in a minute. So that's pretty cool. Not too often you see, uh, I don't think you ever see the, uh, the bottom of a ship. So take care, everybody, and we'll catch you next time.